Hello, welcome to Inner Connections. My name is Deborah Baker and I am so delighted that you have joined me this morning. It's a great time to meditate, isn't it? So let's just take a nice deep breath. And my guides just informed me that the theme of today's meditation is going to be about loving ourselves. And uh, I think we've touched on this topic a few times in the last few meditations. Um, and it seems to be coming to the forefront. Um, I don't think that we do ourselves any injustice by loving ourselves. Um, I think it's probably more it, it, about understanding what that means. So before we get into the meditation part, let's just sit back and relax. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath and Let go. I like to start our meditations with the idea of getting an energetic massage for our bodies as we begin to do our meditation. So let's imagine this beam of white light, pure love energy coming up through the soles of our feet, kind of giving it an energetic massage and allowing our toes and our feet to relax. And as you feel that energy moving through your feet, imagine yourself loving your feet, appreciating that they get you where you want to go, that um, they have served you well over the course of your life. Um, I have had foot surgery and I'm grateful that my feet have recovered. And um, I, I'm truly grateful for my feet and I suggest that you kind of feel that sense of gratitude as well. And then feel that white light and the gratitude and love move into your ankles and your lower legs. Feel the blood moving freely and well through your feet and lower legs. Feel the muscles just going to a neutral position, allowing yourself to relax and be calm and peaceful. Moving through your lower legs and into your knees and into your upper legs. And by now your legs are feeling heavy, your feet are feeling heavy, and just think about your legs and you know what we put our legs through. Um, I did some yoga this morning so I put my legs through a little bit more than maybe I normally would. Uh, but it feels good to stretch out our legs and to move our bodies gently and to take good care of ourselves. So feel that loving, peaceful, rejuvenating energy moving all the way through your feet and legs and now starting at your tailbone moving up your body all the way into your pelvis so your hip bones your sit bones your tailbone and your sacrum moving up your spine and just feel all of those muscles in your feet in your lower legs in your pelvis, your lower torso, your hips, uh, relaxing, feeling peaceful and calm. Just be aware of that loving energy, that, that sense of self-love in your pelvis, in your lower back. If you've ever had any pain in your lower back, if you are a mother and have given birth, to just have such great love and appreciation for your body to have been able to bring a life into the world. Or maybe more than one, or you know, maybe you haven't, but we still have that sense of appreciation for the human body. What a blessing, what a miracle think about 
the way our bodies function, it's, it's really miraculous. And so feel that loving, peaceful, relaxing energy moving through your lower back, your hips, your lower torso, into your midsection. And I suggest that you look at your body, you get a, pic a picture of your body in your mind and think about it with love. Think about it with the love that those people who love you so much, when they see you, when they see your body walking through the door, they feel elated and joyful. They're not looking at every little flaw the way you are when you look in the mirror. And so whether you have a few extra pounds or not enough pounds or great muscle tone or not great muscle tone, it doesn't matter. You can still love your body exactly as it is. And so feel that love energy moving through your midsection, restoring your body to perfect health and wholeness, moving through your midsection into your chest, your rib cage your middle back, moving up into your heart space. And so this infinite love from which we came. So we are spirits. We are infinite spirits having a human experience. And the human experience makes us feel that we are separate because as human beings, we are separate from one another. And yet, as spiritual beings, we are one. We are not separate. And the oneness is all about infinite love, sacred love. And so feel your heart space, remembering its oneness with this infinite sacred love. Feel your heart just filling up with infinite sacred love and while you allow that energy to just percolate in your heart space be aware of the white light entering the tips of each of your fingers and thumbs and moving up one knuckle at a time through your hands through your fingers thumbs hands wrists just think about your hands for a moment whether you are a creative person and create things with your hands, or whether you touch your grandchildren's cheeks or your loved ones, or however you use your hands. Our hands are how we, one way that we express our love. You know, so when you put your hand up like this, you're saying, I am open. I'm open to giving you love. I am sending you love, which is why a lot of the energy work that we do comes from our hands. It comes from loving touch. And so feel that white light moving through your hands and wrists into your lower arms. Feel your lower arms getting heavy and then into your elbows and your upper arms. And during this pandemic, all of us have been quarantined at one time or another and unable to give and receive the hugs that we normally do. So just imagine the hugs. Imagine everybody that you'd like to receive a hug from hugging you right now. My dad used to give the best hugs. And uh, I think that's one of the things I miss the most about him. And so just imagine, they don't have to be alive. Imagine whomever you'd like to get a hug from right now. Imagine that energy exchange, that love, because in the oneness, in spirit, they are still just as much alive and just as much present as they were when they walked the earth. And so energetically they can be there giving us hugs and and uh, tucking us in at night and you know holding our hands so just feel that love that infinite love coming from every being that you know on the other side beings that you don't even know because 
people who don't even know us can love us. It is true. So feel that love energy moving through your arms and through your heart space, moving up your arms and up through your body to the level of your shoulder blades and your collarbone and into your throat. Feel your throat relaxing. Our necks hold a lot of our tension and so just allow your neck to relax and let go of the tension that you may have been holding on to. Feel your throat chakra open and feel your ability to express your heart being open and freed. And now feel the white light, that energetic massage that's moved through your shoulders and your neck. Move through your face. Feel your face just let go. Your ears, the backs of your, the sides and back of your head. Now your atlas where your spinal column meets your skull. All the way through your brain. Invite that infinite energy into your brain to allow you to balance, to, to get your equilibrium stabilized, to allow your thoughts to be aligned with your infinite self, to be aligned with the intentions that you had when you came into this human experience. And then feel that energy move all the way up through your body into the top of your head and through the top of your head. And we know that our infinite selves, our spiritual selves, our energetic bodies are much larger than our human bodies can hold. So I invite you to allow all of your consciousness to leave your human body for a moment and hang out as your infinite self. You are one with God. You are God expressing. You are the infinite being expressing uniquely as you. Your infinite soul chose the body that you are traveling around in. It chose the personality that you are working through and it, it, so it chose your expression here on this planet. And there are things we can change about our bodies and our personalities. So if there's something you would like to change about yourself, I invite you to set the intention to do it. To become more peaceful. To let go. I heard somebody say recently that uh, she wanted to be less judgmental. And where does that voice of judgment come from? It comes from our personalities, but I believe that it probably comes from some wounded part of us that felt the need to categorize something in a negative way rather than in a positive way. And so I invite you to allow infinite spirit to move into your psychic, your mental and emotional wounds. I don't know a single person on this planet who doesn't have a wound somewhere, somehow. We hurt people and people hurt us, most of the time unintentionally. We hurt other people because we want to stay safe because we don't want to hurt ourselves. And I invite you to just let that go, to give other people the benefit of the doubt. And then to give yourself the benefit of the doubt. For the longest time, I could not tolerate the thought that I had made a mistake. It would keep me awake at night. I would, my stomach would tie up in knots and I would just feel horrible. And many of you know I've been working the 12 steps for actually an anniversary of 35 years today. Um, but one 
you know, part of the 12 steps is about working through um, our mistakes and, and then making a list of people we had harmed and make amends to them. And when you get in the habit of um, continuing to make amends, when you've, when you've made a mistake and you stop and you say, I have made a mistake. I, I choose not to, to focus on my mistake anymore. I choose to focus on my intentions and to let go of the past. To make amends to those that I feel I have harmed. And it doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out process. It can be a simple, you know what, I think I made a mistake. I never meant to harm you. I am um, not perfect and I'm doing my best and I, and I won't, I will do my best not to hurt you anymore. Um, and so I invite you to have that thought for yourself. To have that thought that I will make mistakes because I am operating through a human personality and humanness is not perfect. Humanness is, you know, involves struggle and, and imperfection and, and it's real and it's um, organic. And so I invite you to just accept that your, while your infinite soul is whole and perfect, your human personality probably makes a mistake now and then and may or may not hurt people intentionally or unintentionally. And uh, I just invite you to forgive yourself. To imagine looking yourself in the eyes and saying, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know that my behavior caused you harm and I never meant to cause you harm. And then imagine yourself on the receiving end of that apology, to receive that apology, to forgive yourself, to say, I am not, it, as the human, the human part of me is not perfect. My infinite soul is whole and perfect, and I am working on allowing more and more of my infinite self to express through my personality. So take a deep breath, and I invite you to just ask your infinite self, your higher self, your soul, the part of you that is one with God, to ask, what do I need to do to forgive myself? How can I love myself more? Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You deserve it. It can be a hard thing. Still, you know, as an adult, adjusting to being an infinite soul, kind of confined in a human body, uh, and figuring out how our, to allow our human personalities and our human bodies to be the fullest expression of our infinite selves as they can be. To allow yourself to be the fullest expression of your infinite self. So let's just turn our attention now to our infinite selves. To remember that we are whole and perfect. We are God. We are one with the one presence and the one power. And we allow that one presence and that one power to express in, 
through and as us. I believe that you are much more aligned with your God self than you give yourself credit for. I really do. I think that you are probably much harder on yourself than you would ever be on anyone else. So I invite you to stop being so hard on yourself. To shrug and say, you know what? I'm allowed to make mistakes. I'm allowed to stumble. I'm allowed to fall short. It doesn't define me. It just shows that I'm human and I'm still walking this earth and as long as we walk this earth the terrain changes sometimes the path is smooth sometimes it's rocky sometimes it's slippery and we do our best putting one foot in front of the other stopping to listen for guidance and so I invite you to be kind to yourself and to stop and listen to your higher self to stop and allow God to think your next thought. Take a deep breath and see what kind of guidance comes to you. Letting go. Allowing the infinite to move in through and as us is as simple as sometimes as just stopping the resistance, stopping the self beration, stopping being hard on ourselves, letting go of all that negative self-talk, and just allowing that still small voice of God to say you are whole and perfect exactly as you are. You already measure up. You are already lovable and loving. In fact, you are love itself, expressing here on earth as you. So congratulations. I invite you to, to say this affirmation with me. I am whole and perfect exactly as I am. I love myself exactly as I am. Thank you for joining us, joining me. Um, the Unity Church of Overland Park offers these meditations every Tuesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And my name is Deborah Baker, and I have a website, healingdebra.com. You're welcome to reach out to me by leaving a comment on this meditation or uh, through my website and I just want you to know that the God in me honors and blesses and recognizes the God in you and I am so grateful that you spent this time with me. Namaste.